Hey friends, it's Megan Elizabeth with AboveRubyStudio.com. Thanks for joining our another 12 Days of Christmas and Giveaways video. I am super excited to share a scrapbook layout today and I wanted to uh, get things already pre-cut out and started. I will include a link to the cut file that I made this with in the Cricut. So this is all stuff that I welded and, and shaped together from cartridges and images that I already had um, ownership to. I did actually did some contouring and hiding to create create the mistletoe um, because it was actually part of a box uh, embellishment and I got rid of the ribbon and the things that were around it and just did the mistletoe and then I cut out the phrase mistletoe honey I welded it together and I did use uh, design space you can just use what oh wait hold on how's the app working for you ask me later and I will answer. Um, so I just wanted to show it to you what it looks like on the phone. This is the layout um, that I sort of started putting together and creating and it will include the link at above rubystudio.com. So um, just sort of going along with that color theme, I chose paper from Be Merry from Stampin' Up. That's all the paper that I'm using here with the exception to the black. Uh, this is some black cardstock that I had and I think I'm gonna use some Whisper White cardstock because as I was putting this, like playing with it before we went uh, live here, I really liked the idea of layering these papers together but it's almost a little bit too busy with the mistletoe across the top. It doesn't quite have the pop that I was going for right there. So what I wanna do is take a piece of Whisper White. Now if you guys, I don't know if you've heard me talk about this yet before or not, but if you've never compared card stocks before and have never played with Stampin' Up, especially the Whisper White, um, I would highly, highly, highly suggest giving it a shot. I'm going to do a three inch strip. Mm, now that I think about that, I wonder if that was big enough. Yeah, that should be big enough across the top. So that should be eight and a half inches wide. And I think that'll be big enough for the mistletoe honey. If it goes off the edge a little bit, I'm not sure that it's going to be a big deal. But let's just see here if that's going to be big enough before I start adhering down. That's going to be tight. I should have thought about that. I think I need the 11 inches across. Yeah, because I want that to like stand out on its own free will there. Okay. Anyway, what I was starting to say was if you've never compared card stocks before, I would highly suggest if you've never played with anything from Stampin' Up, get some Whisper White card stock. Um, the smoothness, the cutability, the weight and texture of it is amazing. It's incredible. I actually forgot how much I loved Stampin' Up paper <laughs> and card stock until I really recently started playing with it again because when I was doing what I was doing before, it didn't make a lot of sense for me to get card stock from stampin up at the time and so I I didn't I wasn't doing that and um, I regret it because I used to use it often and um, there's some great value there in that I'm gonna flip this the other way there's a little curl on that page so it, it being in the lower corner doesn't seem to affect as much okay so I'm gonna just place this along the top I'm gonna get mistletoe honey down using a zig squeeze and roll a two-way glue pen there's all kinds of different glue pens and things available. There is a fine tip glue adhesive um, in the Stampin' Up! as well. Same exact kind of thing and concept. I've been using these for a long time. So I'm just going to apply this down. So one of the things that I recently was posting about and asking over in our She Makes Club, and I will open it up over here for you guys as well, is like wanting to know more of what you guys want to see, especially as it pertains to Cricut and design space. I want to be uh, sharing some more additional tutorials. It's part of the She Makes Club. I'm doing uh, live workshops and video tutorials, but I also am doing pre-recorded ones, especially of things like design space and, and aspects to using the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Explorer, uh, using your app, all of those fun things. So if you have something that you would like to see in your comments for today's giveaway at AboveRubyStudio.com, make sure you include uh, things that you would like to learn or see or be able to do or experience with with your Cricut. Okay, so I actually had a really cute idea with this, so I'm just going to let that be there, and now I'm going to let this go. 
And because of how this is, I'm actually going to use, let's see, do I want to use gold or silver? I'm going to use some of this um, washi tape. This is called Urban Underground. It's designer washi tape. Just because of how it cuts off there, I'm going to go all the way across with some washi tape to just, feel, I just feel like it'll give it a little bit more of a finished edge, finished look. So I'm going to go right here, all the way straight across. I'm just going to rip and tuck. Just kind of finish those edges a little bit more. Nothing too dramatic there, but okay. And then this is going to go right here. Perfect. So then I cut this um, out. Again, this is all from the Be Merry designer paper. You could do both greens or like the white and green so if you see it's kind of like a speckled pattern I thought I would do it like opposite because I thought this was my idea was to actually take a picture of and I'm gonna have to like do it and post it at some point I didn't do the picture yet because it's I we're like still in the early stages of decorating for Christmas here but what I thought I would do is have the mistletoe come down here but then take two pictures and have it be like they're coming together with two people kissing so like this will be somebody puckering this way this will be somebody puckering this way and it'll be like the pictures are coming together to create the kiss and I thought that would be really freaking adorable so um, creating a layout for a picture I plan to take actually I'm gonna go this way with this one this one's going to go down a little bit lower, and I'm hoping I can line up the pictures enough when it gets to that point. Uh, let me just change that angle a little bit. Okay. And kind of like so here, and they'll just go, like I said, over top of each other a little bit, and then the mistletoe is going to go right in there in the middle. So I'm not going to go all the way down with my adhesive because I want the... I want the pictures to be able to slide in underneath. All right, I guess I can go up here a little bit more. I don't think that needs it. That should be good. Okay, and then I have, I'm gonna use, I, see, okay, so I always thought mistletoe was white. I cut this out and I, I just really wasn't sure. So what I'm gonna do is the reverse side and almost like the hound's tooth pattern. So then what I'm going to do is I have a couple mistletoe that I cut out in like the different patterns of white. So I'm going to place that down on here as well. All right, and you could do them just in white or the pattern. I think it's kind of cute to do the pattern. Uh, give it a little bit. Maybe should have done two. Well, it's fine. I you get the idea. I think that'll work just fine. I'm going to add a little bit of bling. Some gem rhinestones, of course. I'm going to actually do it up here around the mistletoe. What I wanted to be able to do was mark on here what year this is or what, what it's from. Ooh, you know what? Actually, all right, last little touch I'm going to do. I'm actually going to round the corners of this. I did the stamp, um, from the uh, set Snowflake Sentiments, and it says, May the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy. I think it's really cute if we're going to do the kissing picture. I just want to round the corners of this off right down here. And we're going to just put this down here in the corner. give a little bit more to it and then if I wanted to I could write the year 2017 right on that white left enough like space there to be able to do that so that's our layout for today you guys I hope that you enjoyed another video with us here for the 12 days of Christmas at AboveRubyStudio.com I'm super excited to be back here uh, doing these videos and sharing more at the uh, She Makes Club and here at Above Ruby Studio so if you have any questions at all never hesitate to reach out and ask, leave your comments, share the posts, and uh, enter the giveaways, and we'll have an awesome, awesome time the rest of this holiday season. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the moments. Bye-bye.